Hi everyone and thank you for joining me for this oil painting time lapse. I have a few oil paintings in this video for you actually. I recently purchased some slices of agate on Amazon for the purpose of painting them. I think agate is a, a type of quartz or similar to quartz so please correct me if I'm wrong but basically I'm painting on rocks. We're painting on rocks today. I saw them and thought ooh that's pretty and then I bought them so now we're gonna paint on them. I sanded each slice before painting on it with a gritty sandpaper though it's really hard to scratch up the surface of a rock using just sandpaper and it required a lot of effort on my end but it's worth it to give the surface a bit more tooth for the paint to grab onto even if on a molecular level I'd say it's better than nothing. But next time, I'm gonna get a sandpaper with way more grit. I really like the idea of painting on natural elements, so painting on agate seemed like an interesting idea. The first painting I did was a tiny moonlit landscape. The paint applies so smoothly. If you use glass palettes for oil painting, that's basically how it feels. It applies the same way to the surface as it does to the glass, which is a very smooth and more slippery kind of application versus canvases and wood panels, which feel more dry because of their texture and their absorbent. All of these paintings are also done a la prima, also known as wet on wet, meaning I did not layer like I normally do. I just finished them in one sitting, which I hardly ever do in my oil paintings. I always layer. Um, so this was an interesting challenge, but I think for such a smooth surface like this, a la prima worked really well. Maybe I will try layering future agate paintings, but all the ones that you see in this video were done um, wet on wet. The next painting I created was an eye. I love painting eyes, that is no secret if you've been around here on my channel for a while. And I'm self-aware, trust me, I'm always making sarcastic commentary about how totally unique and original it is. And you know what? Screw it! I like painting eyes, I'm gonna paint eyes. Just deal with it, okay? Just bear with me. Also, I forgot to mention, but the real-time step-by-step moonlit landscape painting demonstration is available on my Patreon, and so is the demonstration for this I am painting here for anyone who wants to see how it was created in real time. Along with my entire thought process <laughs> along the way, those two demonstrations are on Patreon. Painting eyelashes always freaks me out, especially when I'm painting a la prima because if you screw up, it's kind of a mess to try and fix. When I work with layers, I wait for a layer of paint to dry before moving on and painting further. So if I mess up, I can easily just wipe it off. But with a la prima, not so much. There's still ways that you can correct it, but you're kind of limited there once you place that dark paint down. So yeah, painting the eyelashes was scary. Next painting I did was a lip study. Um, in all my portraits, the subject always has a more natural look and I thought it would be fun to create the effect of shine and gloss and like a more bright saturated lipstick with light reflecting off of it. So that's what I did here. The beginning of these agate paintings are way jankier than my other paintings I feel like. They just look so much worse, but then you just build on it and it gets better. But for some reason I feel like these beginnings were worse than like other surfaces. I don't know why, maybe it's just me. I didn't realize my camera died towards the end here, so I didn't actually capture the full process where I did the final touch-ups, but here is the finished painting. Then I painted another eye, cause, cause yeah. <laughs> this time a darker colored eye. It's actually my eye, it's my own eye. And with different lighting, uh, something else I tried to do with these agate slices is to match the painting to the color of the agate. So I chose the pieces that were a similar tone to the colors in the rock, or I picked a color that's complementary to the color in the painting, like the lips painting. Making these tiny paintings was actually a lot of fun. There's a lot less pressure and it's less overwhelming because they're so small. And I think if you are learning how to paint and you're afraid of wasting your paint, 
Try making really small paintings for practice. It obviously doesn't have to be on rocks. <laughs> you can use canvas paper and it's so much more cost effective. Like you get a whole pad with multiple sheets and you can chop them up into small pieces. And you don't feel as bad if you mess up and make something you don't like. You get to practice all the same skills, but on a smaller scale. So yeah, I recommend using canvas paper because you can just slice them up and you don't feel intimidated by a huge canvas or like you're gonna waste the canvas or your paint. I also painted another little landscape onto one of my blue agate pieces, but I didn't film that one, so I apologize, but here it is. And so, yeah, these are my little paintings that I made on agate slices. These are the results of my experiment. I'm actually still working on more of these paintings as we speak. They're so much fun, and all of these are currently available in my art store, and for so much less than what my originals usually cost because they're so little. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this painting time lapse. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more art from me. I've really been trying to be more active on here again and I really missed you guys so thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to all of you who bought something from my art store. Callie and I have been packaging all of your orders with love and clearly she does most of the work as you can see. I have an updated art studio and plant tour coming soon but I want to know if you guys want those two combined in one video or a separate video for the art studio tour and a separate video for the plant tour. Uh, please let me know what you prefer, whatever your thoughts are in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'm wishing you all a beautiful and inspiring day, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys!